Welcome to First Man Satellite once again. This is Killbox, Killbox uh, 5025 Combo S2T2 decoder. This, this, this decoder is not uh, booting completely, uh, it, it, it always stays uh, boot like that. So uh, look at it, I'm powering it, I'm turning it on for you to see. Look at it. Look at it. It will it will stay loot like this. It won't change. It cannot boot completely. It will stay load like this. Yes. Yeah, so I want to teach you how to solve uh, this uh, Killbox uh, fifty Killbox fifty twenty five Killbox fifty twenty five uh, booting. How to boot it. Uh, when uh, it happens uh, like this, how to boot it? With using a computer, using a computer. So you will need. Uh, I, I'm I'm turning it off. I'm turning it off. Uh, you will need a hardware to like a serial cable like this. This is serial cable. As usual, as I I, I show you, I show I show it to you always. You see. This is the serial cable. One, this the USB part will go to the computer's USB port, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Uh, like this. Good. You see, this uh, the, the USB part will go to the computer's uh, USB port, and the other end, and the other end. And the other end will go into the decoder's serial port. You can see this empty port here. Here, yes, this is a serial port. Uh, this is a port for a serial cable. So the other end of the port uh, of the cable will go into that port, like this, like this. Yes. Good. You see. I, 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 I have inserted the other end uh, in the decoder serial port like this. So like this, I'm done with my hardware settings. So uh, and look at this. You can see this. The board of this decoder is uh, SPH. As you can see, look at it. SPH one five zero five B CRV one uh, dot two. That's uh, version uh, V1.2 uh, this is the board type so now you move to the your, to your software application for this operation so on my laptop uh, I go straight to my folder a flashing folder like this to start this operation and you can see yes so I open my uh, application. I open my application like this, and you see it has opened like this for me. Yes, so like this. If you look up here, you can see scum. Uh, you can see scum, scum. Then flash writer. Then you add uh, ISP and uh, about. You choose you add this one like this. Good. So it opens like this for you, and and your uh, computer will automatically uh, select your COM port for you like this. But if it doesn't, you can set the COM port manually. There's my COM port is 3 and it's, uh, and it's correct for me. And the chipset, UK chip, the chip ID. You see, I, I, I showed you that one. You see, that the decoder's board type is 15SPHE1505B. Uh, so the chip type uh, in this operation, you have to choose this, this one, look, this one, yes, 1505B, this one, like this, so you, you select this one, like this, yes, and the DDR type, here it is, uh, it, it is already on three, you choose uh, two, select two, like this, okay, so like this, you can see here, 
that are select ROM files. So you choose the decoder software. Decoder software. So I'm going to look for a soft software on my computer. You see, this is Killbox. I have it on my computer. Killbox 5025 combo. Uh, that's where v, version V9.00.02. Uh, first man kill boss 5025 so you select it like this then uh, you, you click on open yes so like this my setting is complete like this my setting is my software settings are complete now so at this point you click ok like this yes and then you turn the receiver on you turn it on you power it on like this and look at it you see look at it you see it has started uh, flashing you see the uh, the operation has started this is how to solve a booting problem of a kill box kill box 5025 kill box 5025 uh, combo s2t2 decoder this is how to solve it using a computer you see it just started so this is how to solve it using a pc or a laptop so let's see uh, how it will go let's let's see let, you have to, at this point you have to wait patiently for you to uh, to reach 100 percent and tells you completed before you uh, exit the operation you can see it is still in process uh, it's about to reach the hundred percent immediately uh, it is completed the receiver will automatically boot the receive the receiver will automatically boot immediately is completed so let's wait and see what will happen you see it is about to complete it's about to complete let's see let's see immediately it is completed the receiver will boot automatically boot you see look at it look at it look at it you see easy it has started loading let's see whether it will boot or not this is how to solve a booting problem of a kill box 5025 the combo s2 t2 look at it you see yes yes so this is how to solve it this is how to solve it at this point you are done so uh, I'm coming to connect a cable to it to see uh, to, for for us to all see how it will display. So you press OK at this point. That like is good. You see the down message is wait, wait for reset system. That one is done already. That one is done already. So so I'm turning it on again you see you see you see it's loading so let's see on the screen where how it will display let's see let's see let's see how it will display multi tv kill box 50 25 combo s2 t2 you see it is working completely everything is perfect you see this is how to solve it solve booting problem of a kill box decoder welcome to first man satellite world once again thank you for watching bye